Welcome back. On the same day I filmed the pinfish how to catch. But today, we are doing, we are doing, we are doing on a head shark. Because why not? Okay. First off, here's my PB bonnet head. It was probably two and a half foot. Yeah, yeah guys, I'm getting straight into this. You know what we do here already. And if you don't, check the description. I guess I'll put it down there. Um, so, this guy was probably two and a half foot. Caught it on a live shrimp. Same chart rig as I always say I caught it on. Um, not really too much to say about him. Caught him in Tampa Bay, by Weedon Island. I've got a video of him. If you really want to see that, I can show you that, I guess. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about that. That's the bonnet head. Bonnet heads are smaller. They're smaller versions of hammerheads that they're not, instead of like a hammer, like a rectangle, like most hammerheads are, it's almost like a shovel. Like a semicircle head instead of a rectangle head. Um, they only grow up to three or four feet. So anything above four feet, that's like a trophy bonnet head. Um, a lot of people call them poor men. Poor man, man's. Pretty sure it's the black tip people call poor man's tarpon. But whatever. Um, bonnet heads. So, tactics for bonnet heads are probably definitely leader. Leader, leader, leader. Even with leader, I still get bit off probably half the time I try to hook one. So, you need a pretty strong leader. I use like 25 to 30 pound leader, always fishing snook, shark, snapper and anything else on the flats just because I keep the rig on for snow shark, shark, trout, snapper, all that back and forth jazz. Um, I lost track of what I was saying. Fish, fish rigs on the bottom or have about three feet underneath a bobber. If you're fishing flats, it's probably about three feet under a bobber because of grass. Um, but if you're fishing sandy or deep, I'd fish, um, a sinker or just free line. So baits, I would say squid, shrimp, anything else that you would throw for normal sharks and because they are a species of hammerhead. Wings of stingrays are commonly used for hammerhead species. I've never personally used a, a stingray wing as bait, but I um, know that bonnet heads would eat them. There are tons of stingrays on the flats, and that's what they use their wide heads for. Um, chum, if you want them to get closer to the boat, chum is a really good idea for fishing sharks in general or any other schooling. Sharks travel in schools. Just kidding. Um, actually, the other day, I was fishing with one of my cousins. I can put that picture up now. Um, he caught his first bonnet head. And later that day, we saw about four bonnet heads swimming together on the flat. So I don't really know if bonnet heads are schooling sharks. But I don't, I'm, I don't really remember ever seeing them other than that one time. Together. If you chum, then they will come together because that's one spot and multiple sharks are in the area at most of the times. I'll put that picture down. Um, bonnet heads, bonnet heads, bonnet heads, bonnet heads, bonnet heads are good fighting sharks. They pull a lot, probably pose two to three minute fights. Most of the time you can find them on the flats, they don't go very deep, probably ten feet at the deepest. With flats or sandy bottoms, try to avoid rocks because that's easy snagging the kind of bait they eat. And that's just about it. I'd use three out circle hook under a bobber. That's my normal rig. They'll eat shrimp, squid, stingray wings. 
But that's gonna have to wrap up this video. You already know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time in the next episode of.